I mean, I, I was a kid in the 60s, you know, so Billy and I are about the same age. Matt, Matt's a little bit younger than me, but we still have a lot of the same things. But, you know, I, I um, got excited about the drums really early because of this polka band that I saw playing. And, <laughs> and then from there, I, you know, the Beatles came out and my older sister kind of introduced me to the Beatles. And I listened to the Beatles and then, you know, and got into, got into high school and as a young, I was a freshman in high school and then Zeppelin came out and Hendrix and, you know, I was, I was kind of an, into everything. I mean, from Gentle Giant to Count Basie, because I love Buddy Rich and I really like Ed Shaughnessy who played on The Tonight Show. I thought he had a really kind of a cool, fluid style. The way he hit, I love the way he hit the cymbals. He just, just had this wrist, his wrists were so supple. So, I mean, I was just a sponge. I, I, I love the monkeys. I used to watch the monkey show and just everything that was cool. And I loved vocals, pop music, that where certain pop mu music just, I loved it. I, I didn't want to tell my friends, you know, because they were like, what? Oh, you like, you like what? You know? And sort of similar, you know. Um, I mean, I start, Tommy Lee was the first guy. Well, the first thing, like, that just the guys on my street, what they were listening to, that was Aerosmith Live Bootleg, Cheap Trick Live at Budokan, Kiss Alive, and Iron Maiden, Number of the Beast. So that was, like, the, the nucleus of, of what I started with, you know. But then I saw the Looks That Kill video, Tommy Lee spinning the sticks, and I just was like, holy shit. <laughs> and he's just, I, he's one of the greatest natural drummers ever. I mean, when he just plays a two and four, it just feels... So good, you know. And then I was reading in a, in a Modern Drummer article, and his tech was talking about John Bonham. And I knew Zeppelin, but I didn't really, I didn't know Zeppelin. And I went to the mall, and uh, <laughs> they had a Zeppelin box set with the crop circles on it. Yeah. And it was 80 bucks, which to me, I was probably 16, 17. That was kind of a lot of money. And I thought, well, drum lessons in town were like 25 bucks. I said, I mean, do you think there's three drum lessons in here? I said, okay. <laughs> yeah, sure. So I just bought it. And then from there I got into James Brown because I heard Bonham was in the James Brown's drummer, so I got into that stuff. So that was kind of the thing, and then that opened that whole thing of you know Mitch Mitchell and Ian Pace and Ginger Baker, Humble Pie, Free, you know, and I'm a song guy too, so I love you know Lee Burns Stoller and all the Don Kirshner writers, and and I like different writers and producers. I have playlists in my iPod that are. Just